There are plenty of anime podcasts out there, but why not have just one more? It's another Weebcast. Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Sean the Imka Ninja, and today I have uh, two of my friends. It's always two. We never get the full group anymore, I swear. It's the first episode and then no one else. Uh, but Tom continues his perfect attendance record. <laughs> and then we have Noah. <laughs> How are you two doing? You know Anything what? I'm gonna exciting? Give you cre- I'm going to give you credit. That was the first time I heard that intro that didn't sound dead inside. I mean, I, I to be fair, I am in a pretty good mood, so maybe. And it's not dead inside, it's being professional. Yeah, dead inside. Oh my god. Well, I don't... Whatever, I'm not going to debate you on that. Um, I mean, okay, well... I don't know where I was going with this, but... What anime is everyone watching now? Because I has anything new come out or no? Because I think it's still just we're still in the winter, uh, the winter twenty twenty three season, aren't we? Yeah, until like uh, five more week, I think. Uh, I don't know, but um, I have been behind on a lot. <laughs> I Same. still need to catch up with so much. Um. I recently started something. What the fuck was it? Or did I watch Vox Machina and was that it? Hold on. Let me go to my Verve account. I swear I watched something recently. Oh, wait. I think I remember. Because um, recently I binged through like three anime. Um, and that was... I'm the villainous, so I'm taming the final boss, which I did enjoy. And then I was catching up on my next life as a villainous to similar anime. Um, I did not start Tomo Chan yet. No, actually, I think really? it's it. <laughs> um, I I do need to start Tomo Chan soon, but I have not. I've been watching a lot of um, uh, Viva La Dirt League's NPC D and D podcast, so I've been very far behind on stuff. But uh, I'm not as far behind as Nier Automata is because Jesus Christ, has the anime come back yet? Probably won't till next season. Holy shit. A1 Pictures, get your shit together. But what about you two? You guys watching anything fun with the new season? Uh, no, you first. Fuck you, you first. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, I, I, put, I'm watching put me on my fucking spot, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm watching exactly. too much. Again. Well, fair enough. I've been watching. That <laughs> just interrupts him. Yeah, why not? I've been watching uh, so much, and um, the angel spoils me rotten pretty good. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. What is it, Invisible something? I think it's like a combination of Senpai and Invisible in that, isn't it? Yeah. Because I know what you're talking about. I watched that today, but I actually watched the most recent first. So, (laughs) kind of mixed up there. But, uh, yeah, it's all romance, pretty much. I mean, still some solid romance. Uh, how's Tomo-chan? Because I keep hearing good things about it. I mean, I like it. I don't, I never read the manga, so I don't know how it is for the anime. I, I really enjoy the manga. The manga is very cute and funny. It's also one of the few anime to have, um, uh, a voice actress for both the Japanese dub and the English dub be the same person. Cause um the right yeah the yeah. blonde yeah cause she she the same voice actress in English and Japanese which is pretty cool honestly first doesn't usually happen I think there's like one or two cases of it happening before that I love that just her walking at the people and going back or stupid and just walking away not not elaborating at all what about you Noah. So I've been watching a lot of things since the last time I've been on here. Mostly rewatches and a few news. <clears throat> For re- rewatches, uh, starting off, I've re- I've rewatched uh, Dragon Ball Super, as well as Dragon Ball GT, because I wanted to see which one is better. And they're both mm-hmm. shit. No, I'm kidding. But uh, <laughs> uh, I. I give the edge to Super, but only very barely. 
because like I just went with what what was my favorite arc in each show. Okay, which is better between the two? And I still prefer the Goku Black arc over anything in GT. <clears throat> but yeah, nobody cares about Dragon Ball. Uh, Sean will be happy <laughs> really? to know that. Sean will be happy to know that I rewatched Imagi Brilliant Park again. Nice. Still, still really, really great. Yeah, I love the main character. He's such a dick. Um, I have I have rewatching Senran Kagura Ninja Flash for for all the right reasons. <laughs> for research purposes. Uh, but like, I will say that season one's way better than season two because season two both both shows are super fan servicey because obviously it's Senran Kagura. But what it makes me really like season one over two is that t- two is much more serious. But I can't take it seriously when there's fan service all over the damn place. But, like, season one I like way more because it knows what it is. And even, like, the narrator is fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, like uh, in, in the Central Cogger universe, uh, their big power-up is when they're just in their underwears. And the narrator's like, okay, the superpower, this and that, this and that. Okay, it's just an excuse so we can see their fucking boobs. Okay, guys, let's move on. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> that say makes fucking, me think but he of- said that. It makes me think a little bit of a uh, Kaguya-sama love is war narrator, just a little bit. Yeah, the narr- I even if you don't like Senran Kagura, I, or, I I would say watch at least the first episode just to hear the narrator. He's easily the best part about that show. <clears throat> uh, something else I've been watching was uh, uh, Isekai Quartet. I rewatched Ooh. all of it, and I okay. Here's a funny story. So that 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 IP has a movie. It's called uh, Isekai Quartet, the movie Another World. And for the longest time, I thought that was in under development now because I never saw it. But then I, I, I ran into a clip of it on YouTube. And then I'm like, is that movie out? And then I'm like, oh, it's been out for like six months. You just <laughs> so, never heard of it. <laughs> oh, I never heard of it. It just yeah, went just under like, the radar. Not popular. Yeah. That happens so much of things. Just no fanfare at all, and you're like, "Oh, that happened! Shit! How long? How long ago did it happen? <laughs> Two years ago! Holy fuck!" <laughs> uh, after watching that, I've re- I'm rewatching Overlord. I'm still on season one. Still love that anime. It might be one of my favorites. And a similar type of anime. I'm in terms of new anime. Uh, the only one that's sticking out to mine is. Uh, is uh, the Misfit Demon King Academy Season 2. I still need to finish As... season 1. Yeah, it's good shit. Really like the most recent episode. Nice. And Eminence, Eminence in the Shadow, I'm still watching. It's gonna Next week will be its final episode. So that's, that's, that'll yeah, be... My roommates have told me a lot s- about that one. What'd you say, Tom? You cut out. I said unfortunate. Okay, I was about to say, I thought you said fortunately. I'm like, okay, no, you it's, want to swing a, hands? It's one of the good easy guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I really like it. I, I've, I've been but, hearing a lot of good things about it. Yeah. But, and last but not least, I've rewatched Chainsaw Man as the dub this time. And I got to say, the anime is way more better dub because they just, the voice actors sound like they're just having the time of their lives. They do sound like they're having fun in the dub. Yeah, it's and I think that nothing. adds to the appeal. <laughs> it's I, I, nuts or nothing. I want to get back to Chainsaw Man, but I feel like I dropped off of it. And every time I look at it on my list, I'm like, I could watch the new episodes, but I just never get back to it. Denji's my hero because he he says he has a very he has one of the best lines I've ever heard in anime. You put the dick in predictable. <laughs> shit. I think I remember that. Wasn't that early on or like halfway through or something? No, that's like the last, the last episode. episode. Oh, yeah. really? I remember hearing yeah. about that. Maybe, maybe I only heard about it in passing instead of actually watching it because I only got like halfway through the season. <coughs> uh, yeah, like sub chainsaw man. I, I was like, yeah, it's pretty good, but like I think the dub really gives it life for me. I mean, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you prefer like one or the other for one particular reason or not. Oh yeah, definitely because. Uh, <laughs> my my uh my reasoning for the opposite spectrum is one punch man i heavily prefer the sub over the dub in one punch man it's a dub for one yeah the, the dub for like one punch it. man's fine i don't like i mean it. <clears throat> it, it's it's kind of like standard for like a dub honestly but i mean 
Um, I like Saitama's voice actor in that. Uh, is that kind of like, you know, I think the the good tone, but I think everyone else is just kind of like fine for the most part. Um, Genos is monotone, but he's got robot, so I don't know. Like, uh, I don't remember what I hated about the dub, but like, I remember not liking it. So maybe whenever I watch one, whenever I watch one like... Punch Man. You go. <clears throat> you see, I I actually want to say Saitama's voice probably turned me off of the whole thing. Like, really? I don't think I like that. I don't like his voice that much. Huh. Or maybe it was voice. Genos. Like, I don't know. It wasn't just a, a few specific characters. It just felt like everybody I just didn't like as much as subbed. I mean, I, yeah, that, that happens sometimes. Like, I do think dubbing has come, like, obviously a long way, but sometimes a dub just doesn't connect with somebody or, like, a voice just doesn't work, and it kind of throws the whole thing off. Even if it's a good performance, you're like, that voice doesn't fit that character. So it just yeah. really throws you off. There's always that one occasion. Oh, and I guess one more throw out there. Uh, the best arc in all of anime, it's about to start next week. Or oh. pretty soon. I don't know what oh, day yeah. that oh, yeah. comes out. Cause, um, all of anime? I mean, I wouldn't say all of anime, but one of the best. I would. Well, yeah, you're right. All of manga. We don't know how the anime will turn out. It should turn out good. From what, yeah, Dark Deku? Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, if anyone's curious, talk about Dark Deku and My Hero. <laughs> yeah, I was like, of all time, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like, there's, there's there's a few other arcs in anime and manga that I think of that are at least a little better than it. It's still oh, yeah, really no. high up there. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm I'm being very dramatic about it, but, like, I can't wait. Oh, yeah, They're no, probably going to match the tone, given how the trailer went. Mm. Yeah. We shall see. I think... Uh, well, from what I saw from the trailer, it looks it looks good. So, I mean, the anime's been doing pretty good so far for, for adapting everything. So, I'm having faith. I'm hoping this is where all the budget went, because this whole season has had I think like three good episodes that are like above average, but everything like stayed. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought for a second the budget the budget is three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it's quite like possible it. that, like, you know, wasn't it? Wasn't there a longer break between this season and the last season than normal? It was only. A year. I swear it was longer than that, because I, because like, it definitely feels that way. No, because because <laughs> I think the the anime before that was coming out in spring, and then this season came out in like fall, instead or winter. Uh, yeah, they got a different schedule, I think. Yeah, so it was at least a couple months, so maybe, like, I don't know, an extra time for extra money? I don't know. And uh, the, the budget could be just crazy. Who knows? And, and you can never tell with anime sometimes. Some episodes, one, one, one point will look fucking amazing, and the next time it looks like a slideshow. Yeah, that's that's my hero. And that's shonen, though. That's just shonen in general, honestly. Uh like that's most shonen because I feel like a lot of shonen will just anything not them. Mappa. That's fair. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair because Mappa Mappa animators never get to see their families. <laughs> They're stuck in the dungeon for the rest of their. Yeah, because I remember Jujutsu Kaisen looked really good for like pretty yeah. much the entire run of it. Um, and then, I actually I would I would still say that um Mob Psycho, even though like it can have some like slightly oh, no. stiff ish Mob. Mob was fucking crazy. Like Mob that's is, for all the uh, Mo Mob bones is... entire college one. <laughs> Everyone thinks like, "Oh, my hero is where all the budget went." No, that shit went to Mob Psycho. <laughs> that anime still looks fucking amazing, and it's it. Anyone who hasn't seen Mob, it's it's amazing. Please go see it. It's really fucking good. Anyone upset about One Punch Man season uh, two? Uh, I'll take a rain check. I, I think you would enjoy it. I do. I do think that because it's really good. It's really funny. It's heart heartwarming. The uh, heartwarming. Um. The uh, the animation is amazing, and it adapts the uh, adapts one's art style really well, actually. Um, because like some anime have their art styles get lost in adaptation, and then this one is like almost a direct adaptation of the the manga itself. Well, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna stop you right there. 
I'm, I feel like you have to strike a deal with you before anything else. I feel like you should watch some of my anime before you start recommending me your anime. Oh, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> what do you, you have in mind? You still haven't watched Classroom of the Elite. Okay. Oh, you All right. still you know haven't what? watched... You... Wait a you minute. Hold up, hun. <laughs> what else? Right. What else you got we're for hold... me? We're ho... Wait, we're holding on, Tom. What, what, what's the punchline? How have you not seen Classroom of the Elite? Exactly. I have enough on my list anyway. All right, fine. You know what? I'm going right, over right, right now, and okay, I'm adding you know it to my title, watch list. The, the, da, 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 da. the title of this stream is MK Ninja Exposed because this <laughs> motherfucker, I swear, one time he was like asking for anime suggestions, and I'm like, "Well, what about these animes?" And you're like, "Oh, I have enough on my plate." Then why are you asking for more? Bastard. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because I want, I want, I want to feel like I'm a part of it, but I'm not going to listen to your suggestions anyway. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. No, I, yeah. I will. Yeah. You know what? That means no, I'm no, not to no, yours. no. I'm going to do you one better. Um, tomorrow at work, when I'm at my lunch, I'm going to set a reminder for myself, and I'm going to watch the first two episodes of season one. Good. I'm going to set a, I'm going to set a reminder for myself right now. In fact, actually, I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> uh, uh, so you can now, now you and. If I tell you I really like it, then I'll continue it. Um, but if I if I'm not super into it, I might watch a bit more just to see if I if it gets better. And you know, let's see. You're probably fifty fifty. I mean, our no one I have similar enough tastes in anime, so I feel like I should at least enjoy it enough. Watch classic of the elites. I don't even know when the fuck I'm gonna go to my lunch because I don't take consistent lunch breaks. Uh. Let's see, the 11th, we'll, we'll say at 5 p.m. That's probably when I'm going to go to my lunch. All right, what else you got for me then? If we're going to go down this route. If, it's, if that's what we're doing instead of what I wanted to do. <laughs> well, what did you want to do? I'll just well, I was going to talk about anime video games, but like, no, like, like, if, you, if, you th if you want more stuff for me to watch and you're, telling, and you're calling uh, me out, uh, let's let, no, let's uh, do this. Let's do this. I'll, call me out. Call me out. Let's do this. I'm gonna, all right, I'm fine. Shut up. Shut oh, up. No. I, I want to be transparent. It. God damn. All right, fine. Misfit Demon King Academy. That's a already really, seen really it. good one. You've already seen it? Not all, all right, of it, but fine. I've gotten through part of it. All right, you're learning. Thank God. Um, <laughs> My Hero Season 6 at the very end. He's watching what? the dub. He's watching oh, the it's dub. Three weeks, it's while. three weeks behind because it got delayed. Fuck you. I've been watching the dub for like five years. Have it's going to be watched, weird to go to the sub. Have you watched Skeleton Knight in another world? Yes. All right. What about Welcome to Demon School, Iramakun? Uh, that is already on my watch list, but no, I have not seen that one yet. Oh, you're a fucking asshole. Huh? It's one of those ones that I keep reminding myself to check out, but every time I think about it, I never end up getting to it for uh, one reason or another. If it got dubbed, uh, have you watched I'm Quitting Heroing? Uh, I did start that one actually. I'm enjoying it so far. Did you watch? I've... Did you watch it dub? Yes. Of course you did. Um. Fuck you, did okay? You watch, okay. Dumb blender, holy shit. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, watch, man. Did you watch Cyberpunk yet? Uh, you motherfucker. So the thing, no, so no, the thing about this is I That's actually was going, no, 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 I have a genuine reason. I was going to watch Cyberpunk. Netflix fucked me over. Because their new, the, the policy they had was if you're not logged into the home uh, Wi-Fi account, then you can't access through a different machine. And I am the across the country. I know, but it's still it's still affecting certain people. Really? I got locked out of my Netflix account on my phone. <laughs> I tried doing it, and I got locked out of it. So the only way for me to watch it would be to pirate it, or to buy a Netflix account. And I don't like pirating anime, so I'm probably just going to buy it. <clears throat> You're fucking missing out. <laughs> I'm going to buy it, and I know I'm missing out. But the unfortunate part is it's been so long, I've been spoiled so much. But I'm still going to enjoy it. I know it. See, if you enjoy all these, uh, the Studio Trigger anime, then why don't you watch Gurren Lagann again? Oh, because I don't care. Oh my god. At least you're honest. You made me watch six or seven episodes. There's no way you're going to... I didn't make you do anything. anything. I just suggested it. No, we had that watch party thing way back when. Was that with... I'm sorry. Um, was that with Tony Screw? It was with people. Uh, it was, you had your own, like, group server thing at the time. Um, 
I don't remember you being a part of that because I remember I did do a watch party of it a long time ago, but I don't know if you were a part of it. Yep, I was. I was. I mean, maybe your opinions change. It probably won't. <laughs> I, opinions don't change that well. Uh, have you watched Combats Will Be Dispatched? Yes. Good, okay. What about Demon Lord Retry? I'm trying to remember which one that one is. I think I know of it, but I haven't seen it. <clears throat> have you watched all the Food Wars? I've watched season one. Only season... Oh my god. <laughs> You've it watched gets enough. much better. It gets much better. I know it gets better, because I've seen clips of other seasons, and I do want to check more of it. But... past season Jeez. four. Oh, season four is like the 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 it's like the art. You know, season four is like one of those. It's it's like Burrow's only smaller. It's like you had a good ending, but you just wanted to keep going. <laughs> well, I, th I thought you were gonna say that the art changed. So I was like, do we have another high school DD moment well, up here? Well, uh, there is kind of a slideshow effect. Oh. The Actually, that, makes, still good. that makes me think. Did anyone see the the most the like the changed art style season of High School DD? Because I hear it was at least pretty good. I don't know. It's been on my list of things to check out. It I've wasn't Hero, it. or no, it wasn't Hero. Was it Hero? I don't remember. They named the seasons weird. Uh, but, all right, what else you got for me? No, I'll throw it because I've I've <clears throat> I've seen some of these. What about? Uh... No, you don't care about sports. Um, no, I don't like sports anime. Yeah, the weirdest anime. take. I'm is sorry. It really I just that weird. I don't. Well, the thing is, I don't care about sports in real life, and I've tried two sports anime, and I couldn't get into it. Which ones have you tried? I tried Haikyuu, and um, more recently, I tried what was the one with Blue in its name? Blue Lock. Blue Lock. The I tried two Blue best Lock. ones in oh my god. Jesus. I. I didn't. I couldn't get into it. Kuroko's No Basket is peak. I, I just... But this is coming I, from a basketball fan. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't oh, have anything against... Fucking, fucking oh. obvious one right here. You haven't watched Recreators. You're right, I haven't. That's, that's a god-tier anime right there. Hmm. I do, oh, I do want to check that one oh, out. Oh, wait. Wait, no, you're not gonna watch it. It has it wasn't dubbed. I've watched subbed anime before, you realize, right? Yeah. I watched Sabu Gabu sub because they teased the dub, it never fucking happened. I gave up and watched it and I loved it. You know what? The fact that you're never gonna see this anime depresses me. I rest my case. What anime? <laughs> Recreators. I will watch it. No, it's not dubbed, you won't watch it. I did I just fucking finished saying that I watched subbed anime before. Anyway, let's talk about anime games because I'm depressed now. God damn it. All right, fine. So the thing that spurred this on is um, anyone who has been paying attention to like weird games recently coming out, Hi-Fi Rush recently came out like suddenly because it got announced at like Xbox's Direct or whatever and then came out like hours later. And I kept hearing about it. And then last night I was like, fuck it. I bought it on a whim because I'd wanted it. But I was like, I want to wait for my paycheck. Then I kept looking at the game be like, I really want it. And it's a very anime style. So I was like, you know what? I kind of want to talk about anime style or anime games. Because not many of them are very good. <laughs> and they're usually fighting games. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, you guys loved, uh, during the um, the worst games uh, top topic tournament, you loved to talk about One Piece World Seeker. Oh fuck that game! I think you died in fucking dish. I can, honestly. Okay, no, I'm I'm genuinely I would, curious I would, now. I, I would honestly, go, I would honestly go and play Superman sixty four over it. Okay, now I'm genuinely curious. Can you please explain what the game is about and why it's bad? Because I'm really curious. Because you, the hate is just palpable, and I, I want to know. Tom, you can I really probably explain know. it better than me. Well, okay. The combat is awful. awful. Like sluggish or just Slug unresponsive? Worse worse than sluggish. Imagine um, a game that's not trying to be a third person shooter, be a third person shooter. That sounds convoluted. Yeah, like 
Luffy's main attacks, they don't feel right. And, like, the attack that the game wants you to use is the gum gum pistol, which is... Uh, just no. It's like a bitch to aim, I assume. Well, it doesn't feel natural, if that makes sense. I'd have to watch and gameplay. The game, There's, like, and no th- impact in, in any of the moves, also. Yeah. And the, the game teases you that you're basically a rubber Spider-Man. You're fucking not. <laughs> you can't do shit. Except your hopelessness. Let me see. One Piece World Seeker gameplay. Oh, God. Uh, let's go to Game Rants before you We're, buy. We here at the, we oh, here at the MK Ninja uh, apologize for all the barfing that Sean's about to do. Uh, I'm looking at this right now. Um, huh. I, I mean, it looks not good, I can say that. And it plays much worse. Like, it looks like, um, like, the the combat is, like, he's getting really close to people, but his attacks are usually, like, medium range, honestly, because he's so stretchy. I... So, okay, and then you mentioned, like, it want to be Spider-Man, but I'm assuming it says it, it teases open world, but it never is. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Every time a... you, like, it, every time you attempt to swing, you get shot down by a Marine. <laughs> yep. Really? Yes. So one of the core mechanics of the game is just broken. Yes. Oh, God. I'm assuming it's kind of button mashy, too. Oh, of course. Ben Echo. Yeah. yeah. And not not in the fun way, because there's not, like, any responsiveness or, like, punch to it. Nope. And the game looks fine. Huh. Very average. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I would probably have to play this, but as you're saying, it doesn't look good. But I wouldn't, con- I wouldn't consider it the same way that like you guys are saying that it deserves to burn in a fire. I don't see that. I imagine it feels worse in gameplay. Oh, definitely feels worse. You have to play it to believe it. Oh boy. Okay. Um, what else is wrong with the game? <laughs> um, it's um, very forgettable. There's a lot of very um, forgettable games. It has the same like low budgetness of like most anime games that I don't like where the game <laughs> the presentation's awful. Which just kind of comes with the territory. Like you'll get a pretty good ish cutscene uh at the beginning and then it's a, but like just standing still in t- text bubbles. Sometimes they're not voice acted. I was gonna say yeah, the game's not fully voice acted. Yeah. Oh my god. Because like in my head, I'm thinking like comparing to a few other anime style games that do have something similar to that, but at least they have like charm to them. Because I know like the Tales games have like their um, their um, their little like mini cutscenes, but they they do different styles in each one. Like um, either text box or the the character boxes like interacting with each other, or I know Arias has like their comic book style, or um. Uh, Brasilia is sort of like uh, it looks kind of like dating sim and they'll like move around and emote and shit but like that whenever they're just standing still is always that kind of like boring thing that I know a bunch of anime games do to cut corners and you know have prettier here and there or whatever mm-hmm. hmm what was the first actually let's, let's, let's ignore this game like everyone else does um, hmm. so what would you say like the first like anime game you've ever played was like, just to get an idea on, like, where you started. Because, obviously, that could change how you look at them. Dragon Ball Ultimate Battle 2022. Or God damn it. <laughs> That's rough. Actually, I think I started a Dragon Ball game, too. But I think I played Supersonic Warriors. You lucky bastard. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I emulated it. And I had fun with it. Um, But that's rough. That I swear game that was no right to be so... That game has no right to be that good on the Game Boy Advance. There are some really good games in the Game Boy Advance you wouldn't think would be good, but are actually fire. I know, right? Exactly. Like, fighting game... Usually when a fighting game gets gets ported to like the Game Boy Advance, it's garbage. 
Like, I'm thinking, like, the yeah. Mortal Kombat Game Boy Advance ports. Those are garbage. Um, and then the Street Fighter port for Alpha 3 was also not very good. Um, and then just Dragon Ball gets a really good fighting game. I think there was there were two, because it, it got a sequel, didn't it? What game? Wait, what? Super Sonic Warriors, I got a sequel, didn't it? I don't remember. Uh... It it did because I see was it also on the Game Boy Advance? It was. They also had the RPGs too. So there were there were two. That's crazy. Yeah, that was my first, and I enjoyed it. And then I think I played one of the RPGs after that. I forgot which one. I didn't get far into it because I got bored. Not because it was an RPG, but because I just didn't feel like it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. What about you, Tom? I think mine was. Pirate Warriors 3. I have no familiar for that huh? one. I mean, that's, I, the, uh, one, that's a One Piece Dynasty Warriors game. Yeah, it was it was oh, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The fourth one was bad. The third one was really good, I would say. Yeah, because I remember seeing like ads for um for those ones. Because the third or fourth one was the one that had um Dolph Lingo, wasn't it? Third, for the, third one. Third, third one? was okay. Dolph Lingo with the original ending oh okay yeah definitely i'm assuming it cut all the fat out of that one <clears throat> oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't just cut the fat they chipped off some bones too i mean for the best probably because that arc i love is... pirate warriors too because it's so fanfic -y, it hurts hey, you gotta have some good fan fiction sometimes i've never right? played one and two but i've heard uh one <clears throat> of them has in up... Actually, I think both of them has Anaru. But, like, what? two two goes up to the Marine War arc. Oh, okay. And <clears throat> the reason why I call it fanfic -y is because I could be wrong about this because I, I probably didn't get this ending. But, like, I don't think the anime caught up to that game because you can actually go through... Well, first of all, the main crew is at that war. <laughs> That's strike one. Mm. And strike strike two is that you if you do a certain if you do well or do a certain mission you can actually have Ace and Wipeyear survive the war. So when you when you said fan fictiony, that those were the first two things that I thought of. Is oh cool, Ace survives, doesn't he? Because <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously I, that's the big death of that arc. I don't I don't remember if Ace dies in any of the endings, but I do know there's an ending where Wipeyear dies, and there's an ending where neither dies. Hmm. The ending that a lot of people probably wanted, but I mean, someone had to die. Maybe the Ace would actually be a good character. Then. Ooh. Hey now. Whoa. No, it, it, it's fucking true. Whoa, Don't whoa, deny whoa. it. <laughs> oh no! Okay. I want the. I want what this to play fuck? out. I want this to what play out. <laughs> what do you mean Ace would be a good character then? Because you have more time to develop. What do you mean? What are you talking about? He's a, he was in part most of the Alabaster arc. He was in like one part of Alabaster. One part of, well, oh, maybe maybe in the manga, but in the anime, he's been around for okay, a while. Okay, true. Toy Killer. All I did was fight Smoker, and he left. In the manga, sure, but like you know, I rewatched the anime. God bless my soul, because I don't have the time in the world to do that again. But like, he, he was <laughs> there for do. a while. He was there for a while, you know. Was he? I remember. Yeah, him. he was. Like, I remember Ace having a good. Okay, re remind me. Remind me of my memory wrong. Is it in the manga where he fights Smoker and then he just leaves? I've never read the manga for Alabasta. I wouldn't know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why did you say that then? Because that's how it is. What, what are we? The he, fuck? he comes ah. to the first part of Alabasta. He defeats Smoker, or doesn't defeat him, but he gets away from Smoker. He sees Luffy, meets his crew, and then he drives yeah. away. No, he doesn't. That's what happens. What? No, he doesn't. Like, <laughs> fucking, okay, if the manga, like, there's there's a scene where he's, like, letting them escape, and then he's on his little stupid little boat thing, powered by his flames. Oh, you mean the the <laughs> giant, okay, that, the giant sea lizard, or not sea, the lizard in the desert, where he fought with Luffy. 
Yeah, like he he was with Luffy for like he was he tagged along with the group for a good long while for at least like maybe somewhere between like five to ten episodes he's been with the crew. I and remember then he being part that, yeah. ways. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, then, he was there for a little and bit. then he gives him he gives him the slip of paper to let him know when he's gonna die, and yeah, he then the he moves card, on. Yeah, 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 but that's filler. I don't care. That's what I want. It's, it's it still happened. Like you okay. didn't even read the manga. You can't even use it as the filler card. Well, For all we know, that could be in the manga. Nope. If we go by the filler list, it's definitely there. It's like. Well, I... the point is, I don't care. I watched the anime, and he was there for a good long while, and then, and then you got, and then you got the flashbacks uh, while he was imprisoned, and you get these heart film moments of him having regrets, and he's gonna die, and then this whole war for him. He, he's a good character. Shut the fuck up. No, he is a D tier character. No, he Holy is not. Holy shit! Oh my god, Actually, that's a hot take. I mean, wait, wait, wait! Time out. Hey, right. Porkus D Ace. I, I get you. Yeah, I get you. Oh God, <laughs> get out! Good job, Tom. Get Good job, out. Tom. I got it. You you were trying to piss me off, but you actually were making a pun. You son of a bitch! You Don't you hate me. puns? Yeah, I know, but I hate people that say good characters are shit more. Okay, he would have been a good character if he didn't die from a kainu. What the fuck? He died sacrificing himself for Luffy. That now, wouldn't granted, have happened if a kind of didn't taunt him, like yeah, because he just ran what, away. That, you know what? That did piss me off. <laughs> like <laughs> that, did, that did honestly piss me off. I'm like, no, he, he would have lived if he just didn't fall for the fucking taunt. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that doesn't make him a bad character. It just shows that how loyal he is to Whitebeard and sees him as a father figure. So that if somebody like messed with your your dad that you love. You you wouldn't just ignore it. You would have been like, "I'm gonna slug you." Uh, debatable. You must not have a good parents then. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's heartless. I mean, I would. Bottom I would line, Ace like could have been yeah. much better if he just like lived longer and had more development. But then again, Sabu is like the cover for Ace in post time skip. Well, I don't like Sabu because he's just Ace. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He is. I mean, he's not bad. He's I just... don't know. I think he was... A th uh, come on. he That was like... His death was like one of the saddest anime deaths of all time. Like, if, if for people to feel that way, they would have to, like, feel for him as a character. They saw his, like... Before he died, we got, like... Before all the war started, we got, like, flashbacks of when they were kids. And Ace was kind of a prick as a kid. But, <laughs> you know. Oh, you yeah, mean that with, um... The Fuchsia, not Fuchsia City. But you ever heard their hometown? Yeah. Okay, well, wasn't that yeah. after Marion Ford? No, it's before. That's why people were like, who the fuck is Sabo? <laughs> Which is really weird, because Sabo was in those flashbacks. Everybody was no, like, yeah, he who was. The fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? And then we, we finally see him again in all the way to the fucking Don Flamingo arc. Playing the long game up in this. It's a really long game. But yeah, like, I think with the flashbacks and his general interactions with Luffy in the Alabasta arc, and literally his conversation with, uh, with, uh, Garp while he's in the prison cell, you know, come on. It's a, he's a good character. I think he's Definitely like in the not middle. fucking D. Wow, I didn't know the middle was D rank. <laughs> Those are some standards. I mean, as a more outsider perspective, I remember liking Ace. I do kind of wish he had more of a presence, obviously, because yeah. he was he was pretty fun. But like, I would he didn't get. Hmm, what's a good way to say this? He could have gotten more development, but I think the development he got and also the sacrifice was very sufficient. Is how I think, and I do think. Obviously, it is a very powerful moment. It does make people cry, and therefore, it works. No, yeah, definitely. But immediately, when when you said that, I'm like, oh boy, this is gonna be a rant. I'm ready for this. I can see it now. Full debate mode about anime. Uh, the episode is called the one we talk about One Piece. <laughs> it was meant to be about video games, but somehow it's about One Piece. Then again, no, One Piece is a shit ton of games. I fucking derailed that shit.
<laughs> yeah. You fucking did. God damn. Well, well, congratulations. We've proven I'm I'm right as always. So. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm dad. That's gonna be a soundbite for later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you son of a bitch. Anyway, what were we talking about? Uh, I mean, we were talking about um pirate warriors before and you mentioned how uh one and two were kind of fanficy and that's where i brought up the ace thing oh. yeah yeah the great character yeah um <laughs> <laughs> just fucking although, drilling that in about about although this is actually a good topic for certain anime games i'm talking more like the popular ones because uh, this happens in a lot of anime games when you really think about it. Whenever a game focuses on, or at least the end of the game focuses on the current uh, arc from like the manga or anime, either or, and they don't, those arcs don't have endings yet. They oh, they no. always they always make up bullshit reasons why. Pirate Warriors Four. I mm. I didn't even play Pirate Wars. Oh 4. my god. Didn't some of the Naruto games do that too? Shippuden Black... three did that. Pirate yeah. Warriors four was like Blackbeard came to Wano, and it was like a, a mess. Um, and then mm. Luffy beat Kaido with a new move at random. But <laughs> I mean, it just does the same thing that like anime do. It's it's just it's two layers of like um of adaptation because obviously if the the manga isn't there yet the anime has got to make up stuff or do filler and then the anime is not there yet and then the video game's like fuck what do we do it's just make filler of the filler that'll yeah, work I right in pirate, pirate pirate warrior three uh the game beat up don flamingo and he's like i'll be back luffy and then just flies away <laughs> what yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like it's so fucking right. <laughs> Just fly so I, I must go now. My people need me. Whee! <laughs> my my people are my puppets. Oh my god! Uh, I mean, but I think I think the worst case, the fir- the worst example I can come up with is Shippuden three, because for those of you who that don't know Naruto, at the end of at what takes place in the third game is basically the the beginning of the great ninja war that happens later on in Shippuden oh, yeah. 4. That's right. So in the anime uh, during the final battle Shippuden 3 would take place. Naruto breaks uh uh is it Tobi was his name? Obito? Obito. Tobi yeah, was, it was the uh, it was it was it was Tobi won by Tobi. The mask guy. Yeah, he went he went by Tobi. Yeah, you know, the guy that pretended to be Madara. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah. So, in the anime, Naruto beats Tobi to break his mask, which reveals Obito. Mm-hmm. Which what? is a... Oh, you didn't know that. No, I, I mean, I knew that, but I didn't know the... Wait, is this in the anime, or...? No, this is the anime. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where, is the anime. And then we get a, we get a bunch of uh, filler flashback scenes after that. And then oh, it leads to the actual war. In the game... He breaks the mask, but it doesn't show his face. And he says, I'll be back, Naruto. And then Naruto just goes back to the Leaf Village like everything's all hunky-dory. Ignoring the fact that Madara beats the Hokages. <laughs> or not the Hokages, the Kages, because they all have yeah. different Kages. They, they, he, he beats them. And so he just disappears from the story in 3. And then Obito's like, I'll be back, Naruto. And then everybody just goes back to the village. Like, nothing happened. Like, there wasn't a war starting. The war ended. Or prevented. And I'm like, that's the most ridiculous bullshit I've ever seen. We got the happy ending. Only no one's happy inside. It's bullshit. Oh, God. I mean, what would they have done, honestly? Just, like, have it just maybe, be maybe, he breaks the mask maybe, and it blacks out? Yeah, and have a two B continued sign. That would probably be better. I mean, it would have pissed a lot of gamers off, but who cares? That happens enough to gamers already. I would rather have a two B continued sign than just a bullshit ending. <laughs> That's because, fair. like, obviously these type of games happen 
because they want to make these games, but they the animes or the mangas aren't caught up, and they don't want to be spoilers. Except Shippu- Shippuden 4 was a huge spoiler, because mm. that game came out before it was animated. Well, and it was... That one? Uh, well, no, the Bert No, Berta was just DLC for 4. Oh, okay. But, like, yeah... Yeah, Shippuden 4 was just a big spoiler because that was accurate to the, to the source material. It didn't make any bullshit endings. It's It was just very faithful. It's just that it wasn't animated yet. But So if you wanted to see what happens before it got animated, you could play that game story mode. Yeah, I remember that. And in, some, in, in some ways, it's probably better than the anime version. I mean... But, uh, mm, I could see that. Like... I think that's what they should have done in the first place because there's no point like retroactively making your your story mode shitty by having an end, a what the fuck ending. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm never gonna get over fucking Don Flamingo. I'm gonna fly away now. Bye. We. <laughs> that's the that, dumbest. I, that's what Kaido thing. did in Warriors Four. Oh my he god. He did. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm remembering Fuck. now. Why did why do people keep flying away like nothing happened and then just end? No, my thing is why do they fly away thinking they're going to come back when they don't? I anime mm. logic. Anime video game, game logic. Ah, uh, anime, yeah. Anime has always had bullshit logic. It just depends how well it explains that bullshit logic and how much you like that bullshit logic. Like, for example, we don't like uh, power levels in Dragon Ball Z because they are bullshit in the wrong way. <laughs> but some things are bullshit in the fun way. And that's when we like it. Yeah, listening to you talk is one of those things. Mm. Bitch. But, um. <laughs> I said it was in the fun way! Well, anyway, ignoring that comment, um. <laughs> Yeah, so moral of the story is anime games could be great like Dragon Ball, and they could be bad like My Dragon, Dragon Ball. Ball. <laughs> I knew that joke was coming, because Dragon Ball's had a crazy you can, history. You, you can have a fighters, or you can have an ultimate battle 22. You, <laughs> I bet you, so you can have, have fighters Xenoverse, or Xenoverse. Yeah. You can have Xenoverse, or you can have that GT PS1 game. Final Bout? Final Bout, yep, thank you I very much. It. Because I remember you people shitting on that one. Or you can have Budokai. The joke comes again. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah. Um, honestly, for thinking of like games that do exist, and obviously they just go uh, crazy with whether they're quality or not, and they even follow the story or not. Um, and I know what I know Noah's answer already, but what's like what's some games that you would want that don't exist that I like for want anime games exist? yeah, yeah an anime game my, that you want that doesn't exist my heroes universe style i knew that was coming um, naruto's oh. universe style i'd say an open world one piece game. hmm gross it, it's fit. Oh. one piece universe style i want a kill the kill hack and slash Kill Kill Xenoverse style. I don't think that would is, work. Is everything Xenoverse? No, no I, I, I I like I like the idea of having your ma- your fan your character your own character in the world of another. I mean that's and true, think, but that works think, better. Than some I think things. Naruto. Yeah, I know. Like One Piece is easy. You can just have Luffy yeah. recruit you. Yeah, easy. Naruto, Very. Naruto, and My Hero are easy. Because you could just be in their classes when the games start out. You could just be a ninja or be a superhero, yeah. yeah you could just be a superhero in class 1A or whatever class they were in. What would you think would be more difficult, though? Uh, the options I just chose? Um, probably not. No, I mean, so. like, ones, ones that you didn't choose. Because, like, obviously some games I don't think would, would work with Xenoverse styles at all. Because, like, it's just the, the worlds are too limited. Like, I don't think a Kill like Kills Universe thing would work. Nah, probably not. That's why I want a hack and slash. Or, like, a Dynasty Warriors kind of thing. I th- I really do think, with the way Kill a Kill has worked, it would have worked really well as, like, a Dynasty Warriors clone. 
But we yeah. never got that, shout sadly. Out, shout out to that Bleach game that was basically a Dynasty Warriors game that nobody ever talked about. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I know that one. Um, yeah, the Dynasty we... Warriors game? Yeah, yeah I know Bleach it. Cause... Had, Bleach had a what Dynasty Warriors game, but what nobody ever talked it? about it. What the fuck was it called? Was it on the Wii? No, no. it was on PS3. Yeah, it was. I remember it because my my um my roommates in college played it, and it, and it looked really fun. And they they played. There was like a whole bunch of characters. There was a bit different forms of Ichigo. You could be um. Um, uh, it was Soul Souls of Resurrection. That was it. That sounds fair. That was it. I remember seeing that, and I thought it looked really cool. That was honestly like, <laughs> that was my introduction to Bleach. <laughs> Funny enough, just not knowing who these people would be like, what the fuck's going on? And that's what spurred me to actually watch the show, because my, my roommates were like, oh no, the show's great. And I'm like, all right, and then I binged through all of it. The unfortunate part was um, the internet died part way through, so I had downloaded a lot of the uh, episodes, and I think I got to the retrieval arc for Ichigo saving Rukia. And then I ran out of episodes before I got to the end of that, and the internet still wasn't back, <laughs> and I had no, I had no uh, data because I didn't have an actual phone, so I had to wait until it came back. Uh, that was, but I remember that game being pretty good. It looked fun. <coughs> yeah, you can't um, go wrong with that <coughs> Warriors game. You can only be repetitive. I mean, it's kind of the, the appeal to it, though, because I mean. Then again, yeah. being repetitive is not the worst thing you can do for a video game, as long as you have a good gameplay loop. Yeah, I was about to say, all beat em up games are basically repetitive, no matter yeah. how good it is. Yeah, it, 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 just, it just matters how much you can do, how many enemy types there are, and again, like if you have a really good like gameplay loop, being able to do all these grabs and weapon attacks and such, or if you just basic punch and kick. Depends how it feels. But, um... What did you say, Tom, for uh, the anime-style game that you wanted? Oh, wait. Like, uh, one, one, one Piece World. That was it, yeah. What World Seeker didn't give you, essentially. Yeah, what it should have been. Yeah. Uh, the moral of the story is that all the anime games that we want will never happen, and we are left with the ones that we do have, and unfortunately, they are a mixed bag. And we now have to cry. Jeez. Hey, watch, watch out. Quintessential court quintuplets will get a Battle Royale game. You just wait. What the fuck? We're we're already getting a battle royale for my hero. Why the fuck would quintessential quintuplets get one? Because there's a fucking war out there, man. <laughs> yeah, all six characters. Exactly. You're already at the final six. <laughs> I know, right? This game's amazing. God damn it. Uh, but anyway, um, closing thoughts on everyone. Um, nope. Head empty, no thoughts. Long live Dark Deku. Oh yeah, Indeed. we're looking forward to the Dark Deku. But um, I guess that's how we're ending. Uh, remember, kids, being a vigilante is cool. Fuck the police. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. That's horrible advice. I should have told people that. Don't 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 listen to me. I'm not I'm not someone to listen to for advice. I'm just an idiot on the internet who makes videos of an anime. You know the. <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> you don't need to agree with me. I already have low. I already have a low confidence enough. You don't need to make it worse. You got that right. <sighs> That's how we're ending this. <laughs>